classic 1940s wants to know, how many revisions do you normally make before you finally come up with a finished product? Um, it depends on the character and how mm -hmm. happy I am with the execution. Like the first draft is usually um, awful to the point where I don't show it to anyone. <laughs> okay. But you have to do that to get started. Here's another one of my questions. How many pickled peppers did Nancy Drew pick? Um, all of them. <laughs> all of them. And then she got a second chance. Because, <laughs> because one of them was poison. <laughs> yeah. That's why. What is going on with Sunny June? Will we ever see him in person? Um, the answer I'm going to give you, you're not going to like, which is... <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> we know what's going on with Sunny June. You do know what's going on? But... Am I allowed to know? <laughs> Off camera? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but the, the answer is it's a story that by its nature is going to be told very slowly. Oh. <laughs> and it's a fun one. Just slow story. Is it elaborate? Is Maybe. Is going to steal Nancy <laughs> from bed? <laughs> They're going to break up? I won't say anything. I, I know nothing. <laughs> How many licks does it take for Nancy to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? See, Nancy is probably patient enough to actually reach a number. <laughs> I would say yeah. it would take um, the length of an entire mystery. Like a video game mystery? Mm -hmm. or, oh. or, or, or one of the yellow backs. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should time that, you know. So have <laughs> someone do it. So in chapter <laughs> one, she gets it, and then at the end, as she's figuring out who the suspect is, uh -huh. she's almost she there. shouts out a number 4,000. <laughs> Here's one by Super Melody Star. Okay. How does one audition for a role in a Nancy Drew game? Um, very easily, actually. The one thing, though, is we, for the most part, only cast locally. Oh, so you gotta be in Washington. You gotta be in Washington. Oh, man, so many hearts are breaking right I now. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we have, we have recorded people as far away as uh, England, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's right. For Dylan the, was in yeah. Blackpool, I think, when we recorded mm -hmm. him. I could be wrong. British guy, yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. From, um, from Tomb. Many hearts were swooning. <laughs> Um, I, I think he's be very happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, for the most part, post on a website called uh, TPS, which I think is the Theater of Puget Sound, which I know um, some of uh, some of our fans have found that, and we post character breakdowns oh. on that. We we post there uh, about twice a year, and oh, then wow. it's so you got to really be trolling it to see if you guys. Yeah, um, usually it's in um, the fall and spring. And then um, I try to make sure that anyone who wants to audition can get an audition. And that's led to some really, really fun casting. We get to meet a lot of really great, talented actors. And so if you are in the area and you see mm -hmm. uh, a casting notice and it sort of fits what you can do, come on in and we'll uh, get you to audition. Uh -huh. But it does have to be locally. Uh, you do have to be local because occasionally we have to get back into the studio at short notice. Okay. So otherwise, <sighs> my heart's breaking. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Except yeah. unless you're Lonnie Vanilla, oh, yeah. who can do it from San Diego. Lonnie does it from San Diego, yeah. but um, we make a special case for Lonnie. Well, yeah, she's kind of amazing. Did you ever play the Nancy Drew games before becoming the writer, or were you just like, I want to write for a gaming company? This one looks pretty nice. No, I actually I hadn't I hadn't played the games. Uh -huh. um, I had heard of this company through my friend Alex. Uh -huh. Who, Shout out to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> who uh, who worked here, who did not tell me about the job opening, by the way, Alex. Oh. <laughs> <That's just laughs> you. Yeah. So, friend in air quotes. <laughs> uh, and then I sort of started learning about the company and, and saw walkthroughs before I played and really didn't start playing until I was here. Mm. Did you play Saw? Um, well, so I saw was my first game. That oh I was well, here. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. did you? Well, okay. Do you? Okay. Well, do you write for it and then do you play it after? Uh, we play it during. The... So we play during the once the game is. Um, I'll, I'll give you a quick breakdown of how it okay. works. Okay. All right. Process time. Okay. Time. So we'll we'll design the game. Okay. And we get everything recorded. We get everything. Our programmers and scripters get all that work done and make the puzzles, and mm -hmm. our designer does all of the design, and it's all sort of this nebulous thing until about about now in our process. So I'd say about four months in, we have our first build of the game that we can sort of play, mm -hmm. and that's when we get in and see how actually everything comes together as an experience playing it. And so that's when everyone starts playing the game through, mm -hmm. and we make changes and we play it, and then we get to our beta and we send it out to our um, our beta 
testers that they play, and they tell us what they think. Mm-hmm. What they think. So by the time the game is out, everyone's played it a lot. A bajillion times. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is my own personal question. We guys were playing Shadow at Water's Edge. Mm-hmm. I got to see some of the art for the next game and how we'll see it run through with the animations and see how they work out. So when we see the girl in the bathroom mirror, mm-hmm. did everyone scream, you know, who hadn't seen it for the first time? Was the sound synced up or was it quiet? <laughs> it went was, around. We were it? a little worried. Or I, I shouldn't speak for everyone. A couple of us were a little worried that it was a little too scary. Yeah, for yeah I jumped and my other 20-year-old friends were screaming. Yeah, <laughs> and so it came, the animation came sort of by itself in our emails and yeah. in the little corner where we were, you heard everyone reacting to it with a little gasp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so and that yeah. was the moment we thought, like, if this is okay, if it's not too scary, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. Last question. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite candy and have you ever had a Cocoa Kringle? I have had a Cocoa Kringle. You have? Yes. Okay, before um, had I had shop. I got one. Someone gave me one. And there was, uh, when they first came out, I think everyone got one. Oh, okay. And it was really good. Are they good? I haven't had mine yet. I want... I'm saving it to eat it on camera. I want more. Torture. Okay. But it's, it's, it's even hard to get them working here. Yeah. <laughs> They're very scarce. Yeah. Um, my favorite candy is all of the candies. I All of the candies? Oh, I thought that was a brand combined first. combined into one super candy. <laughs> Although that would probably, probably be super good. Super candy. Um, yeah, I can't think of it uh, except for like Chico Sticks. I don't know what a Chico Sticks is. They're the worst candy. <laughs> we should probably not have the candy. You all could right. like put a little sensor before that. <laughs> you, okay, yeah. All right, well that's all that we have for now. Um, and thanks for... Thanks everybody. Yes. Yeah, if, um, yeah, I don't have any... Okay, if there's any follow-up questions, I'll answer them in another, if there's not too many, but, um... Yeah, and then yeah. we can... Maybe we'll throw some other people and get them on the spot. Yes. And be like, tell us all you know. Do you no, have I, I... Ideas. If I am getting there? in for the camera, <laughs> other so people is too. everyone else. <laughs> we'll just get them all in a big group and do that. Okay. <laughs> just lead them in here, and then have them sit down. <laughs> can you come into a room one I'll go get someone just... <laughs> right now. <laughs> so that's Nick. And if you enjoyed that interview, let me know. And if you want to see in the interviews with anyone else, also leave questions or comments about that. And we can put someone else in the hot seat, you know, ask them a couple more Nancy Drew questions and see what they're doing. Uh, We have some artists and designers who are very busy working on the deadly device. And I also saw some artwork for the next Nancy Drew game that comes after that, which I have no idea what it is. They're leaving me in the dark. I don't know if I'm allowed to know, but even if I was, I wouldn't be allowed to share it. I'm sworn to secrecy on some things. But, you know, if you have any other future ideas of more videos that you want to see, whether it's an interview or more inside the office or more about me, let me know and I'll see if I can make it happen. Alright, everyone have a great day and be sure to stay tuned.